Samuel Little was a prolific serial killer who claimed to have killed over 90 women throughout the United States between 1970 and 2005. His victims were predominantly vulnerable and marginalized women, including prostitutes, drug addicts, and Warren living on the streets. Little was born on June 7, 1940, in Reynolds, Georgia. He had a difficult childhood with his mother working as a prostitute and his father being absent. Little was often in trouble with the law, and he was first arrested at the age of 16 for breaking and entering. Over the years, he would be arrested multiple times for crimes including theft, assault, and rape. Little's killing spree went undetected for decades, as he moved frequently and often targeted women who were not reported missing or whose deaths were not thoroughly investigated. However, in 2012, Little was arrested on unrelated drug charges in Louisville, Kentucky, and a DNA sample was taken. The sample was entered into a national database, and it was eventually linked to the 1993 murder of a woman named Carol Elford in Los Angeles, California. Investigators began to look more closely at Little's past, and they discovered that he had a history of violence against women. In 2014, Little was charged with three murders in California, and he was eventually convicted and sentenced to life in prison. In the years that followed, Little began to confess to additional murders, and he became a focus of a nationwide investigation to identify his victims. Little was known for having an exceptional memory for details, and he was able to provide specific information about his victims and the circumstances surrounding their murders. He often drew pictures of his victims from memory, and he was able to describe their appearances and personalities in detail. This information was used by investigators to identify many of his victims, and Little was eventually linked to dozens of murders across the country. In December 2020, Samuel Little died in a California hospital at the age of 80. Despite his death, the investigation into his crimes continues, and authorities are still working to identify some of his victims and bring closure to their families. The case of Samuel Little is considered one of the most extensive and significant serial killer investigations. This Kang killed more people than Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy, and Ted Bundy put together. Normally, when you think serial killer, you think of some reclusive white guy. But the Kangs seem to want to beat white men on every single level. The Kangs have become super predators. They have replaced the white man in becoming the devil. Because as of now, these Kangs are the biggest serial killers the greatest rapists, the greatest predators, the greatest thieves, the greatest crooks, the greatest robbers, and the greatest at destroying their own communities and unaliving their own women. 